Hello? This is a private estate. We don't encourage visitors to start things we hate them. So whatever you're selling, we don't want any. Get out of it. We're not selling anything. It's Paul and Barry Chuckle to see the lead. Our attendance is expected. Oh, all right. Drive on, Barry. Stupid things. Oh, we're not in yet. Tough. You should be a bit quicker. Could you open the gate again, please? Off you go, Barry. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I'm still outside. You'll have to open them again. Get out of it. Do you realise how much electricity I use? Have you told me to open the gates? No, and I don't care. Open these gates now, or his lameness will hear about it. Oh, very well. But be quick. See, Barry, you've got to be firm. The only way to deal with these types is probably recognise the air of authority in my voice. On to the house. Our informality, your sparrowness, but we don't know the correct form of address. Unlike you, who is wearing one, of course. First off, I am not the laird, I'm his steward. And this is not a dress, it's a kilt. Of course it is. Excuse my brother, he's not himself today. Aren't I? No, you're not. And how you expect to become a ghillie, I do not know. I'm not sure I want to become a girlie, thank you. Not a girlie, a ghillie. Ghillie? Yeah, he's a Scottish gamekeeper. I know what a ghillie is. Now get out of it. But, uh, we're uh, down. Get his my foot. No, actually, it was his foot. Ah, <laughs> oh, Highland dancing. Right, welcome in, Smithy. And, uh, and who might you be? We're the Chuckle Brothers. Ah, yes. Dan told me about you. You're the pair who are going to look after my albino red deer. Are we? Who are you, then? Duncan, 13th Laird of McClacky. Have you uh, introduced yourself to Fingal, my steward? Some people can't take a hint. He's been in the family for generations. Uh, now will you get out of it once and for all? Uh, what? Oh. what have I done? <laughs> Steady on, Fingal. You've soaked my best tweed. Please forgive me, my lord. It was a complete accident. It wasn't. You poured it all over him. Shut your one again. Oh, never mind. It could happen to anyone. Show our guest to the Great Hall and I'll look to my case for something to wear. <laughs> what a nice man. He is a nice man. Too nice to be bothered with the likes of you. Do you mind? We're here in an advisory capacity. Are you indeed? Why he needs advice from you when he's got me, I don't know. Anyway, you heard him. Get in there. Oh. Go on, get in. I've already got some. I mean, give me your coats. Who well, wants to hang our coats up, Barry? Actually, I'd like to hang you up in them, but we can't have everything. Here you go. Now follow me. You heard the lead. Make yourself comfortable. Dear, oh dear. Worms. Checking the locks. Good work, Fingo. Now go and fetch dinner. That's the chap. Right. Ah, oh, there you are. Everything okay? Excellent. 
excellent, wonderful. Now, I've arranged for Fingal to serve us dinner in here. Then we can settle down and discuss our plan of action. The estate's in a bit of a mess, I'm afraid. Can't say something special to get it back on its feet. A bit like this chair. Oh, yes, quite. Actually, I've had an idea already. You have? I have. As soon as I saw the place. Marvellous. I knew you were the man I was looking for as soon as I saw you. You did? I could tell by the cut of your jib. Well, I never. Quiet while I tell his lad about my plan. Ooh. Dinner is served. It's not much, I'm afraid. Uh, I'll tell you over dinner. Thank you, Fingal. I'm sure to be fine. We'll serve ourselves. Thank you, Your Grace. Grace? I thought your name was Duncan. Oh! No, that's my sister. Uh, gentlemen, let us eat. Whoa, <laughs> real country nosh. I'm looking forward to this, Barry. Me too. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, um, then, uh, end, middle, or should I cut it lengthways? Whichever's easiest. Uh, across it is, then. <laughs> Do me out of my job, won't they? I'll show them. Now, this plan of yours. It wouldn't involve spending anything much, would it? Um... You see, the last lad, my great-uncle, twice removed, wasn't very good with his money, as you would have probably noticed by the lack of decent furniture. Really? I hadn't noticed. I had. Oh, ah, strange, really. Because from what I remember the lad, the place was full of valuable antiques. One can only assume he has to sell them off. Oh, well, here you go. Tuck in. <laughs> Where are you? I'm down here. Oh, now, now, that won't do. There must be another chest somewhere in this old heap. Why don't you pop along to Fingal's quarters and see if he can find you one? I will. Where are Fingal's quarters? Well, I've no idea. I, I haven't had time to look round properly yet. I, I, I think he lives in the, um, West Wing. Go another hunt round, buddy. It can't be far. While you're away, I'll tell the lad about our plan. Our plan? You'll keep me out of this. I'll see you in a bit. Well, you see, it's like this. I thought we could turn the Trucky Castle into a hotel. A hotel? Hmm. Well, I, I've stayed in a few, but I, I wouldn't know the first thing about... ...some fire regulation. What if somebody had a fire in their room? Easy. We don't let them bring one. Oh, I see. Bathroom? Well, we'll let me use the hotel. Interested? Go on. Well. West Wing. West Wing. Who is it? It's me. What do you want? The lad wants you to give me a chair. Tip it away. There. No. Get out of it. Not a chair. A chair. They not only want my job, now they want my furniture. Just a minute. Aha. There you are. Take it and get out of it. Huh. Can you open the door a bit more, please? Oh, very well. Thank you very much. Hmm. Uh, I can see there's going to be trouble. Perhaps it's time for the phantom piper of McCarthy to make a difference. I've got one. Hang on. Where's my sausage? Oh, I didn't want it to go cold. 